telling you how to set up the PS4 and the Xbox One to run off of your data plan on your cell phone. So this is going to bypass your mobile hotspot data throttle and allow you to tether your cell phone to your laptop or to your Xbox One or your PS4. So in this uh, live stream today, guys, we're going to be covering a lot of different information. I tried this earlier this evening, and the live stream was absolutely, it was just garbage. I've been having huge issues with my encoder. I'm sick tonight. I feel like fucking crap. Yes, I'm being a fucking crybaby. But I'm going to try to get through this, guys, and explain all of the methods that I have discovered over the past couple of weeks to help you guys out, to help you bypass your data throttling on your mobile hotspot. So before we proceed, it is very important to note that all of these methods are either going to require a laptop or a router there are a few alternatives uh, that do not require a laptop or a router that just require your cell phone and we'll go over those at the end of the video and those are not guaranteed for every cellular device so like I said I tried to live stream live stream this earlier guys I ran into some issues with the encoder I forgot some information as well as some techniques so we're going to be going over all of that and all of the different methods that you guys have I know there's a lot of Metro PCS users out there that are subscribers of mine as well as team users so the, this, these methods will work on T-Mobile and Metro PCS uh, they are not just limited to those networks though so if you are on another network and you want to attempt a few of these I'll try to highlight inside of the comment section after this is uploaded as a video what uh, methods will work with what devices and what network carriers but getting into it the first method we're going to be talking about guys is PDA net so I know I've talked about this in quite a few other videos and if you want some more detailed instructions on how to install and get the full unlocked version of PDA net on your device there is a link inside of the description for that um, I'm gonna have to update that after the stream guys to make it a little bit clearer for you however it was a previous live stream I'll try to put a note next to it or something just saying uh, this is how you install PDA net so once this is uploaded as a video uh, and I have that notation in there to make it a little bit easier for you but getting into the actual installation of PDA Net and how it's going to work to bypass your data throttling. So inside of this method, guys, for the PS4 and the Xbox One, what we are going to need to do is download PDA Net for your cell phone as well as your laptop. So there is a, a mobile Android APK version of this as well as a version for Windows computers. So the majority of these methods, guys, are only going to work for Android devices. Uh, for anybody on here that is on an iPhone, that is shown inside of the thumbnail. Uh, it's pretty clear that most of these methods will only work with Android devices, unfortunately. However, there are some iOS workarounds. I'm going to be releasing some videos on those guys, so stay tuned uh, for that, as, as well as a video I'm going to be releasing later this week to bypass, bypass the iCloud activation. There actually is a method now for anything that's uh, below the 6 plus of an iPhone you can actually bypass the cloud lock activate activation on those cell phones so this was just released this week guys I'm excited to get this video out um, it requires a bit of software however it is very successful and I've tried it on two devices already but going into installing PDA net so you need the APK for your Android device. The link is in the description of this video. It is a very specific version that you need. You have to have version 4.19.7. So this version is the best running version currently for USB tethering and Wi-Fi sharing. So make sure that you have that version, guys. Make sure you're downloading from the link in the description for that APK. I am also leaving a link in the description for the Windows version of PDA Net. Make sure that you all download the Windows version of PDA Net and install that onto your computer. So this method is going to be using your laptop and your cell phone to use USB tethering to tether to your laptop and then send that to your Xbox either via Wi-Fi share or just an Ethernet cable. So there are some settings you're going to have to configure through your laptop. It's relatively easy, guys. And after this application, we're going to be going over a few other applications that you can use with Windows to do this, as well as some alternative methods, not using a laptop, but using a router. You can use a router or you could use your smart TV. For example, I have a Samsung smart TV that doubles as a router, and I can actually use that to USB tether or wireless tether to my smart TV and then send that directly to Ethernet or uh, just through the Wi-Fi to my Xbox or my PS4. But this method's relatively easy, guys. Uh, it's going to require just your typical APN setup. 
uh, that you have through your carrier. Uh, however, if you have the option to uh, switch to the Edge APN, like I know a lot of people on the T-Mobile network have the option to get that Edge APN, make sure you switch to that. So if the Edge APN is not available, there is also the Volt APN. The, the Volt APN is also really effective for this. There was an exploit out not even a few months ago that people were using for T-Mobile to bypass the data throttling and re-enabling their high speed by simply just changing to the Volt APN. We're accessing the hidden menu, unlocking that APN, and changing to that APN, which effectively reset their network. So that is working on some devices, however, they have patched it for the most part. Once PDANet is installed on your cell phone, guys, and once it is installed on your laptop, uh, make sure that you have the unlocked version. Like I said, if you want instructions on how to do that properly, that will be linked in the description of this video. Uh, but it's very important that you download Foxfy Key from the Aptoid market to unlock PDANet. So you're going to need the full unlocked version you can either pay for that which i do not recommend it's a waste of money just download foxfy key and it will unlock pda net for you now i know some people have had issues with this so uh in the video that i'm going to be linking next to that video it's just going to say this is how you install pda net make sure you watch that whole video because it goes over common troubleshooting uh, with a lot of different devices and problems that people run into just unlocking the full version however it should be able to be unlocked on every single device some people just have issues actually getting that done properly because it requires you to clear some data and clear the cache. And there's a process you have to go through depending on what type of device you're on. So that video has a little bit more details on that. But once that is done, guys, and once you have uh, figured out how to effectively USB tether, it is actually going to, let me show you that real quick through here. Um, you are going to connect your phone to your laptop through the PDA net. So just Hook your cell phone up to your laptop. Make sure that the drivers for your cellular device are installed on your laptop. That is very important. Uh, to get to that, it's relatively easy. Just hook your cell phone up to your laptop. And on your cell phone, just go to additional USB options. And if the drivers are not installed on your laptop, it will automatically prompt you to do so on both devices. So just go ahead and allow that and install the drivers onto your laptop. Once that is done, just simply open up Foxfy Key, which will then open up the unlocked version the PDA net on your device and once you have that unlocked version of PDA net on your device guys you are simply going to click the activate USB tethering which is at the top it's a little cut off here and hide the tether usage so what this is going to do effectively is USB tether to your laptop and it's going to hide the tether usage from your carrier so it's going to trick your carrier into thinking that you are using the internet off of your off of your cell phone your mobile your mobile device and you're running off of your unlimited plan so this is for anybody out there that is on the unlimited plan and there's going to be a disclosure inside of the comments for this as well because most people that are trying to tether to a PS4 or an Xbox One anyways are on the unlimited plan and they want a way to tether um, and bypass the mobile hotspot data throttling. So that's exclusively what this video is guys. All of these tips are for the unlimited plan. If you're wanting to bypass that mobile hotspot throttle, this is going to help you to do that to connect to your PS4 or your Xbox One. So once you have that done guys and you have USB tethering enabled and once you have the high tether usage box check, box check and you have the network set up uh, through your laptop you're going to see down here there's going to be a new area connection so you're going to want to turn your Wi-Fi off and you're going to have that new connection uh, in my case for PDA net it's just called network 4 and I'm not going to have that set up right now because it's going to disconnect the live stream however once that is done guys and you are effectively USB tethering to your uh, your laptop you are going to bypass the mobile hotspot restrictions and you're going to be able to have unlimited high-speed data through your regular unlimited data plan now to throw that out effectively to your Xbox one or your ps4 there are a few options so the first option guys would be to click on um, your network whether it be net, network 4 whatever pops up for you um, for your USB tethering network you're going to open the network and sharing center and then you're going to look for the network up here and you can either choose Ethernet or um, whatever network you want, just whatever network you're using, whatever your USB tethering through. Click on that, click on properties, and once you have properties popped up, you just click on sharing. So once you click on sharing, guys, you just want to check this box right here, and it's going to allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. So 
Once you do that, you have two options of what you can do. The first one being just wirelessly um, using the Wi-Fi through PDA Net. So you can right click on PDA Net, you can do a Wi-Fi share. And what that is going to do is it's going to take the network that you're USB tethering and tunneling into the laptop to bypass the data throttling, and it's gonna throw it out as a Wi-Fi signal. So this is going to allow you to connect to your PS4 or your Xbox One without the proxy. So, so re another reason why I'm making this video, a lot of people have been running into problems using PDA Net and getting the proxy set up correctly when they're Wi-Fi or when they're doing the mobile hotspot through PDA Net, uh, they can't configure the proxy and the port number correctly. So this will completely bypass that if you have a laptop. Just do the Wi-Fi share, guys, and it's going to throw that signal out. It's going to allow you to connect directly to the network, and you're not going to have that that throttling that you would experience. Before. Um, however, some devices like the ZTE Z Max Pro and a very small selection of devices still encounter problems with this. So another alternative to that would also be able to um, just set it up with an Ethernet. So you can do this. You can just USB tether your connection or your internet connection to your laptop, guys. And then just once you have the sharing popped up and you allow the network users to connect through this computer's internet connection, you would just select Ethernet. And that Ethernet option is going to allow you to connect an Ethernet cable to your laptop and then connect that Ethernet cable to your Xbox One or your PS4 and effectively use the internet on your cell phone. So it's going to bypass the data throttle. It's not going to use your mobile hotspot data. It's going to draw directly off of your unlimited data plan. So of course, if you're using the Wi-Fi share, you would just select the Wi-Fi. But also, alternatively, guys, um, Another thing that you can do is right click on your network and then open the network and share inside again. Go down to internet options. Once you're inside of the internet options, you're going to click, click on your connections tab. Make sure you click on connections and click on your LAN settings. So from here, you're going to have the option for um, both, both the Wi-Fi sharing and the Ethernet uh, to set this up to run off the proxy that PDA Net uses. So once you have the full unlocked version of PDA Net, and like I said, I'm gonna the last time I'm gonna mention this, guys. If you're having problems getting the full unlocked version or installing PDA Net or just have general questions on how to use it, I am leaving a couple links in the description of this video to walk you through that. That's where a lot of people are having problems with is just setting this up. Um, if you're experiencing the problem where you are not getting the run proxy setting for that make sure that you have the correct version of the application try turning off mobile hotspot through your device after you get the run proxy error to where it's not popping up and then turning that back on while leaving PDA net open that's going to allow that to pop back up again a lot of people have had issues and they've been able to bypass that just run PDA net or Fox my key um, do the mobile hotspot and once you get to the point to where the run proxy should be there and it's not there, just turn off the mobile hotspot on your device, turn it back on, and then do the same thing in PDA Net, hopefully to pop back up for you. Typically, that works for most people. I'm not sure why it's doing that on some devices. However, the majority of the people are running into that issue and they're able to resolve that. But once you have this popped up, guys, you can actually input the proxy here. You will just click on Use Automatic Configuration Script, and then you will just put the proxy URL there. And then that gives you the option to run that network through that proxy and you can actually do that directly through the Wi-Fi share of PDA net as well. So that's going to work with the Xbox One and the PS4. I've tested this personally on both. Um, that is a very effective method and there is no throttling. It uses your unlimited data from your unlimited data plant and not your mobile hotspot. So the next method guys that we're going to be moving into um, is going to be involving an application called Tether. It is called the Done Method or the Clockwork Mod. So I talked a little bit about this and I tried to show this on my last live stream and I ran into issues, guys. But I'm going to go over this in a little bit more detail. Now, this method requires an application called Tether. You have to download this application on your mobile device and on your laptop. So I am leaving a link in the description for the APK for Tether for your Android device. Simply download that APK. Uh, make sure you have that installed on your device and this method particularly just like all methods even with PDA net guys and I went over this in the previous video with instructions on how to install it uh, whenever you're doing any type of tethering to any device make sure that you have 
um, USB debugging selected. Make sure that you have that selected if you're connecting it through your laptop. So, moving into Tether, guys, you have to download that for your mobile device, download that APK, and then you have to install Tether on your Windows device. So, I'm leaving a link in the description for that as well. Install that onto your operating system, and you're going to get an application on your PC as well as on your cell phone. So, once you have that done, guys, you are going to have to download these ADB drivers. So the, what this method is going to do in a very short explanation is it's going to trick your network carrier into thinking you're using the data on your cell phone. Um, by emulating some drivers, it's going to trick your carrier into thinking that you're running the internet off of an Android device. So once you have Tether installed on both your cell phone and your laptop, download the ADB drivers. Those are linked in the description as well. And make sure that you install those as as, as administrator. Make sure you take that download. Um, I prefer to draw, drag and drop it onto the desktop, guys. Just right click on it and run as administrator like you would with any application. Uh, just select run as administrator. Install that. Um, it's going to ask you, I'll go ahead and do it relatively quick. It's going to ask you three simple questions. Just select Y for all three of them. Um, it is important that you install this system wide. So it asks you that as one of the requirements. Make sure that you install that system wide and install it onto your laptop. And then select finish. You're going to get an error. I don't know if you saw that error that popped up. Um, if your Google drivers are up to date, you might get a Google driver error. Just completely disregard that. And you shouldn't run into any issues. Now, the next step after that, guys, um, once you have Tether installed on your cell phone and once you have Tether installed on your laptop, is just connecting your cell phone to your laptop. So. This is really important, guys. Um, this next step requires that you are connected. So you have to have your cell phone and your laptop connected via USB and allow USB debugging to be checked. And it is very important to note that both of these methods cannot run simultaneously. So I want to let you all know this. If you're using the PDA net method, once you install these ADB drivers, it's going to cause errors with PDA net. So if you get that running successfully, don't even try the clockwork bot, just stick to that. However, if you're having problems with PDA net and you want to move on, um, it's unfortunately not going to let you jump between the two methods because you're going to get errors through PDA net uh, while attempting to do this. So once that is done, guys, and you are successfully connected to your laptop, you are going to have to run the tether application on your laptop as well as your cell phone now once you run the application guys um, I recommend stopping the desktop version and make sure that you go to your mobile device and make sure you click on the tether application and start it from your cell phone first the interface I know you can't see that in front of you is a lot like what you're seeing for the Windows version uh, you just simply click on the big tether icon in the middle of the screen and it will start the USB tethering process and then simply click start on uh, the actual tethering application and once that is done um, you might see searching for device a few times and then it'll be, it'll be connected and it will be successfully USB tethering so I'm going to avoid doing that because it's going to disconnect me from the stream guys so um, if I do that it's going to com completely disconnect me it's going to attempt to tether and I'm going to lose my internet connection however the next process is really easy this is the end of the process for the done method so before you do anything um, as far as connecting or running command prompt uh, once you have the USB connection completely tethered to your laptop you're going to have to unplug your cell phone now this is a very important step guys unplug your cell phone and it's just establishing the connection for the first time and once you've done that just unplug your cell phone once you've unplugged your cell phone guys you're going to need to go into your APN settings and make sure that you have your APN configured correctly so like most APNs uh, depending on what network you're on I'm on Metro PCS if you're on T-Mobile it's, it's all about the same uh, you get typically about two screens worth of APN settings you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom guys and you are looking for APN type now in order for this method to work you have to have the APN type set for done it has to have the extension DUN so if it says high pri for high priority or SUPL whatever it says for the APN type guys make sure that you do a Google search to correctly configure the done APN most of the time, like Metro PCS, it's relatively easy. Uh, you just delete that last extension and you just replace it with done. So once you have that done and 
you have the done and the APN is set up correctly, all you have to do is reconnect your cell phone to your laptop and initiate the process again. Run Tether on your cell phone and then run the Tether application on your laptop and connect your USB tethering to your laptop and your network to your laptop. It's all straightforward. It's all relatively easy. And once you have the, the network connection established, this is the last step. So this is going to run the drivers to trick your network carrier into thinking you're running off of an Android device. To do that, guys, it's really, really easy. All you have to do is open up Command Prompt, and it's two simple, easy line of codes. So the two commands that you are going to be entering into Command Prompt, and this is not going to work for me right now. This is important to note. I had a problem on the previous live stream trying to do this. And the reason why is I don't have it connected. You have to have the USB tethering connected before you input these commands into Command Prompt. Unfortunately, I can't do that on stream because it will disconnect my internet connection. So what you're going to type in, I'll go ahead and maximize this so you all can see relatively quick. The two lines of codes are ADB shell, ADB space shell, my bad, and then you press enter. And then the next is settings space put space global put or space tether underscore done underscore required space zero. So again, that's settings space put space global space tether underscore done underscore required space zero. So once you have those uh, successfully put into command prompt, it's not going to let me show you, but I'll go ahead and give you an idea of what it should look like. Um, you would just put the ADB shell or ADB space shell and press enter, you should see a cache symbol that appears on the screen right here. Now, once that is done, you just put the last line of code in, which is settings, put global tether underscore done underscore required space zero. And then you press enter on that, and you'll get another cache symbol that will appear right here. Once that pops up on the screen, that lets you know that the process is complete. You can simply exit command prompt. And now you are effectively uh, tethering to your laptop, and you have bypassed the data throttle. So you are drawing off of your unlimited data plan. You are not drawing off of your mobile hotspot data. So you're avoiding the mobile hotspot data throttle, and you're drawing off of the unlimited plan. So from that point, you can now use the previous two methods to send that to your Xbox. The first one being open up your network and sharing center, and then simply clicking on the network, which if you're USB tethering, it will pop up down here as um, a USB tethering local area connection. Just simply click on it, guys. Click on properties, and then click on sharing, and you have two options here just like the previous method. Allow other network users to connect through this computer, and you can either Wi-Fi share, um, there's several applications you can use through Windows to do this. You can even run it through a, a VPN and tunnel through a VPN to get um, more reliable speeds and make it a little bit faster. Most people say VPNs aren't faster, especially for gamings, because it requires a network relay. However, depending on what type of VPN you're using, that those results may vary. But you also have the option to use an Ethernet cable. So you could just hook the Ethernet cable up to your laptop and hook the Ethernet cable directly up into your Xbox or into your PS4, and it's not going to require those proxy settings. Um, so you don't need any proxy settings like you would with PDA Net. However, you can set up a custom proxy with Tether if you're more uh, familiar with how to do that and you're a little bit more savvy with that. So. The last few options I want to talk about, guys, before I get off here, um, is using your e either a really old router that you you haven't used in a long time, or you're not really using. If you have one sitting around in your closet, or using your smart TV, guys, you have the option to do this as well. You can use your router or use your smart TV with PDA Net. So if you have PDA Net installed on your device and you have the Foxfly key that has completely unlocked PDA Net, and you have the ability to do the hotspot, just let me show that really quickly on screen.
you would just activate the, the Wi-Fi hotspot, guys, and once you have the Wi-Fi hotspot activated, um, you would just click on these three dots up here, and you would click on the Run Proxy. Again, if you're having problems with this, please check out the previous video that I uploaded as a live stream that will be linked in the description, like I said. It, ha it goes over a few options to bypass that if you're experiencing that problem, but the most important thing, guys, is just making sure that you have the correct version. You have to have the correct version of PDA Net in order for this to work correctly, and that version is 4.19.7. You have to have that version. But once you have the mobile hotspot enabled and you activate the mobile hotspot and it's running on your device, guys, rather than inputting the proxy settings on your Xbox or inputting the proxy settings on your PS4, which a lot of people are running into issues with the port number and running into issues with actually configuring the proxy correctly, you can do that to a router. Just simply hook up an old router that you have. Uh, do a quick Google search on how to navigate your router. It's very easy to do, especially if you have like a Netgear model you can go into your, your router, guys, and you just uh, set it up for the automatic configuration of the proxy, just like you would with the browser. It has the same type of settings, guys. Just set it up for the automatic configuration and ask for the URL, input the proxy URL, and then run it through the router, and that router will throw the Wi-Fi out into your home. You can connect from your Xbox or your PS4. Also, another option would be using your TV, your smart TV. So if you have the mobile hotspot activated through PDANet and and you have run the proxy, uh, most smart TVs, including Samsung, you can go into your smart TV settings and the internet connection settings, and you can configure to run an automatic proxy. You would just input that automatic proxy onto your smart TV and run PDA net to your smart TV. Now, most people do not know this, but smart TVs, especially Samsung smart TVs, the majority of them, have the option to use your TV as a network adapter or as it pretty much as a router, guys. You're going to be able to use that as a router and you're going to be able to throw out a Wi-Fi connection from your smart TV. Mine does it, and a lot of other people's do. Uh, just configure that proxy and then make sure that you're able to share that network connection. Do that through the settings of your smart TV and just simply connect to your smart TV from your Xbox or your PS4. Now, with this last method, guys, <clears throat> some people have reported small amounts of lag with this. However, the reports have varied. Um, I was on a Reddit thread about three days ago, and there was a lot of people talking about this a lot of people saying it depends on how you set it up um, how you're doing it and really what what type of uh, network speed you have and how strong you're sitting there's a lot of variables with this however a lot of people are reporting that it's working fine with no issues at all whatsoever um, aside from you know, maybe not having optimum download speeds for their game consoles. And there's other people saying that they're encountering a small amount of lag at certain time periods. And I mean, this is to be accepted with networks, guys, because during peak hours, etc., they may still cut you down and throttle your speeds very, very lightly uh, during peak hours. A lot of networks experience this problem. And ultimately, to bypass that, guys, your best, best method is probably just setting up a VPN or ordering a VPN service to tunnel your, your internet that connection to completely hide your network usage and that's probably going to be the best method for that but alternatively there are a few other methods with your cell phone guys um I know that I talked about the hidden menu a little bit. So I'm going to be uploading some device specific videos over the next week, specifically LG devices, Samsung devices, and ZTE ZMAX Pro devices, which are some of the most complicated phones that set up USB tether and mobile hotspot with to use these exploits, guys. There's, there's some phones out there that have some real issues that are really hard to crack, and we're going to be digging deep into some more detailed methods with those cell phones. So stay tuned for those guys. Guys, I really appreciate you all watching. Please smash that thumbs up button and any new information that I get, any new exploits, I will definitely keep you guys informed. We're finding new exploits each day. Um, for you all that have not heard the exploits using the hidden menu, if you want that information, I'm also going to be including that link in the description. But there's a way to bypass, uh, completely bypass your data throttle for your regular data, even if you're not on the unlimited plan and you're on the cheapest plan possible. If you are on a Metro PCS device or T-Mobile device, um, if you can find the code for your hidden menu, there are options you can go in and actually update your PRL list and reset your network connection to the tower and effectively reset your data for the entire 
water billing period. So I've, I've been able to do this, guys. I've been refining this method. Um, I've been cutting it down a little bit and trying to make it a little bit easier for people to use this. As of right now, I have it cut down to about 15 different steps. So I'm trying to refine that, refine that, make it a little bit more fine-tuned and see exactly what is causing it. However, right now it seems like it's uh, just associated with updating your PRL list and just re disconnecting from the tower and reconnecting from the tower. It seems to be as easy as that. However, I've been deleting logs as well and I've been messing around with some EDPG settings that monitor your tether usage. So I'm going to try to fine-tune that, guys. And um, anybody who has any codes, access codes for any device, for the hidden menu in their Android devices, please leave those codes inside of the comment section to help other people out. I'm going to try to upload as many as I can. I know I have the one that I use for my LG device, so if you are on a Metro PCS phone and you want to access the hidden menu on your Metro PCS device, that code is this right here. All you have to do is go to your dialer and type 277634 pound star pound. So it is missing the last pound symbol on this. The reason why, guys, is once you hit that last pound symbol, uh, your dialer is going to disappear and it is going to pop up into the hidden menu. Now, once you're inside of the hidden menu, there's a lot of different things you can do, guys. You can delete your log, your network log. You can disconnect from your nodes and reconnect. Um, configure different node settings. Disconnect from the tower. Completely do a network refresh. Update your PRL list as well as uh, unlock your APN. So if you are on the T-Mobile network and you do not have the Volt APN and you're trying to use that method to bypass your data throttle, you can get into the hidden menu and you can use the APN unlock. And you can also add the Volt APN uh, directly from the, the hidden menu. Let me see if I have a picture of that. I went over that uh, a little bit. I think like three or four videos ago, guys. But you can unlock all your APNs, so you can delete all of those unnecessary APNs and allow you to edit your APNs because Metro PCS updates on some, some mobile devices have actually taken away the ability to edit your APNs. So this is the way to unlock that for anybody who is familiar with, uh, with that or wants to know how to do that. That is how you do it. And also you can adjust your throttle speeds so out. I'm still working on how to do this uh, and fine tune this guys it's associated with a number of different variables and it's not as easy as what as what it seems like so i'm actually feeding through a lot of different tutorials and taking some sdk programming and uh phone setup programming courses online to try to fine tune some different things that you can do to increase your network speeds as well but you're going to be able to add the volt test apn and that is really important for the t-mobile network some people have been able to bypass their data throttling just by switching to that after they've used all their mobile hotspot data and after they've used all of their data um, just bypass the throttle by changing to the volt test apn now they have patched this a little bit over the couple the past couple of months guys uh, they've been really cracking down on this and i've been seeing more reports of this not working for some devices so this method is not guaranteed but like i said guys uh just stay tuned for some more videos on that and more device specific videos also more exploits there are additional links in the description of the stream guys for other exploits that were mentioned in previous videos and different methods that you can use uh, for your xbox and ps4 as well as bypass data throttling just on your basic network connection which uh, if you're just trying to use it for your laptop guys if you're not on the unlimited plan and you're on a plan that's just a, a lower grade plan you can still bypass your data throttle using that tether application and usb tethering to your laptop that will bypass your i know for t-mobile or metro metro pcs that will definitely work uh, just running those adb drivers and it's more effective if you if you use a VPN, guys. I know this for sure. Um, as far as like Metro PCS devices, you can bypass the data throttle um, just for like the lower rate plans by doing this. However, the network speeds are not going to be up to par with 4G. Now, however, if you use a VPN, I find that it increases your network speeds tenfold. So that's my recommendation. And if you're interested on how to set up a VPN or get a VPN service, uh, just do a quick Google search, guys. It's relatively easy to do. I may release a video on that in the future as well but hopefully these methods help you guys out for everybody out there that is trying to connect their unlimited plan to their xbox one or their ps4 hopefully this resolved the issue for you and you're able to get your ps4 or your xbox one connected um, my recommendation like i said is use the ethernet me me methods guys make sure you use an ethernet cable they're so cheap to buy if you don't have an ethernet cable just um, 
go buy one for like $5. It's, it's definitely worth it because you're going to be able to USB tether to your laptop and just directly Ethernet connection to your, your Xbox One or your PS4 and it's going to make it run a lot faster. Now, if that isn't an option for you or you just don't want to do that, of course, like I said, the Wi-Fi share uh, or just the Wi-Fi share applications through Windows, as long as you're running through that proxy with PDA Net or using the Tether application, you can just share that network connection that way. But I really hope that this helped you all get connected to your game consoles, guys, and I appreciate you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, please smash that thumbs up button for future content, and I'll catch you guys next time.